I'd like to talk to you about my new novel, The Last Act of Adam Campbell, and I'd like to tell you that it's a feel-good book, but when I tell you what it's about, you might hesitate to believe me. The book centres around a group of terminally ill patients, not expected to live longer than a year. They meet in group therapy and through a variety of circumstances decide to put on a play, a kind of mashup of Shakespeare's greatest deaths. So you have Romeo with poison, Juliet with a dagger, the Duke of Clarence drowning in a barrel of wine. And this is one of the ways the characters are coming to terms with their own situation. Instead of retreating from life, they're embracing a new and ambitious challenge. I did a lot of research before I sat down to write and one of the things I realised was that one of the worst things about dying is the living. They mean well the living, but they tend to dwell, they fret and they fuss and they say things like, we're all dying when you think about it, but as Adam puts it, this trivialises what the dying are going through. But in the company of others going through their final Christmas, their final spring, their final summer, the dying can drop the mask they wear at home. They can be honest and irreverent. They can be themselves. So in putting together this play and fast, the characters in my book, they have a shared purpose. They make new friends, they support each other, they fall in love and they laugh a lot. I don't want to compare my novel to other novels, but if my book had a favorite film, I think it would be Four Weddings and a Funeral. I hope it has a similar balance of comedy and tragedy and humanity. And it certainly shares a similarly diverse cast of characters. The rude mechanicals, as uh, they call themselves, consist of an ex-junkie, a nun, a cantankerous train driver, a teenager, a widow, a mother and a father. There's a mouse too. She lives beneath the stage on which the rude mechanicals rehearse and bond and a lot happens on that stage actually, but mostly they rehearse. And as a consequence, this mouse can quote Shakespeare. And these are her favorite lines. Thou knowest tis common, all that lives must die, passing through nature to eternity. And of course, the opposite is also true. The dying must live. There's a phrase that the cast discuss in the book, the idea that we should live every day as if it's our last. And we might be tempted to think that means we should indulge and be reckless and go crazy. But that's the living for you again. They're too far from their own mortality to appreciate the gravity of a fast approaching final day. Live every day as if it's your last, Adam realizes, means we should live every day as if it's our last with the people we love as if it's our last chance to tell them how important they are to be kind and attentive and generous because as Adam knows too well, that day will come. Of course the book is emotional. One of the recurring comments we get from reviewers is that the book should come with a packet of tissues. But the other thing people say is that it's hopeful and uplifting and funny. If you read The Last Act of Adam Campbell, I hope you'll agree. I hope it makes you feel good. Just don't forget the tissues.